A Savannah priest sexual abuse survivor will not be able to sue a South Carolina diocese for the crimes he says happened to him 30 years ago in the Low Country. It is a story News 3 has followed for close to a decade. WSAV News 3's Andrew Davis is in our Low Country newsroom tonight with the latest in a story you will see only on News 3. And Chris Templeton was abused by at least one priest in the Savannah Diocese as a young man. The memory, harsh and vivid. But he says this decision by a low country judge hurts almost as much. Judge David Norton granted a motion for summary judgment that dismisses Templeton's claim and clears the Charleston Diocese. In 2018, former priest Waylon Brown admitted in court to abusing Chris and Alan Ranta while he was a priest at St. James School in Savannah, then taking them across the border to Hardyville and raping them there as well. Brown was charged and sentenced in a South Carolina court, later died in prison. Templeton filed a civil suit against the Charleston Diocese, who he says knew about the abuse by Brown and another priest, Father Ray Dumochel, and ignored it. He even had a former priest in the diocese testify there were a, quote, nest of pedophiles in the diocese. But the judge in his ruling said the bishop did not know the risk Dumichel posed. The clergy acted, quote, outside the scope of their employment by molesting Templeton, and the priest's actions cannot be attributed to the bishop. In a 2018 interview, Templeton talked about why exactly he would file this lawsuit. It's sad. I mean, they say, oh, well, we would reach out. No, they wouldn't. We've given them that opportunity. You know, they won't. And that's the only way we're going to make awareness and to get them to step up is to, to file a lawsuit. Now, believe me, I hate lawsuits as much as anybody. But that's the only way we can get their attention. Believe me, they do not answer your phone calls until you serve them with, with papers. Now, in a statement today to News 3, Templeton's attorney Mark Tate says, quote, We intend to appeal the order tendered by the judge because he has clearly misunderstood the facts and misapplied the law. We intend to pursue this matter to assure justice for my sad client, Chris Templeton. News 3 reached out to the Diocese of Charleston for comment, but we have not heard back. Andrew Davis, WSAV News 3, on your side. Andrew, thank you.